When you're in a clock, you will see several columns of information, including position, starts, length, element type, details, and properties. Position is simply a counter to tell you where you are in the clock. The starts column will give you the approximate start time for the element in the hour. Length is determined by the average run time of the elements from a category. All three of these columns are filled in automatically by Music Master. You'll make your first decision about what will be in the clock by selecting Element Type. The drop-down box in this field will list all the element types available to you. We've picked Fixed Category. It shows the four possible tabs. Depending upon which element type you pick, you may or may not see all of these options. The Filters tab allows you to specify criteria for the position. In this case, we've picked Sound. There are various operators you can choose from. We'll use Contains Any Of and pick our codes. The Timing tab allows you to determine if this position will be a fill song. The Properties tab has various options to determine how the position is handled in the program. Once you have finished picking the element type, any of the properties you have selected will show a graphic in the final column of your screen. With this first element in place, you'll notice that the first three columns are filled in. You can now continue building your clock by placing in other elements the same way. Be sure to click on the Save icon when you are done.